Hello, today's just going to be a quick video on how to upload an image into WebDim Pro. So this might be refreshing to some of you after you made it through the longer demos. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Brandon. So to start, we're just going to right click on our component, the top level of our tree here. We're going to select Create. And we're going to go down to Mime Object and select Import. Once you do that, I'm going to search for my image on my desktop. That's where I uploaded it. Select Web Demo, a JPEG. Click OK, and it filled in all these parameters for me on the shared tab. So I have my name, my file, the location, and uh, the type. So I'm going to click Save. All right, so that created a new folder here, and there you can see my JPEG. So if I go into my view, double click on the main view. All right, now all I have to do is right click on my root element container. First, I have to go into the change mode. In change mode, I'm going to right click on my root element container, insert element, I'm going to drop down image, then select ID my banner, IMG. <clears throat> you can see the image is already highlighted for us. So we go down to the properties and you click on source. You can click the little button here and you'll pull up a new window and you can select icons if you wanted to uh, add an icon to your application you have uh, small icons, the large icons, the pictograms then the old SP GUI icons but we're going to use um, the image we uploaded so we're going to go into component images we're going to select our image and there we go it's now in our app so we actually going to drag this up to the top all right, so you can see our image um, is up at the top, except we have our input in our input field and our button on the right here. So I actually want that on its own line. So what I'm going to do is actually select the root uh, UI element container, and I'm going to change the layout to a row layout versus flow layout. And then I'm going to select on my input field, and I'm going to say it's head data, row head data, and that what that does is it pushes it down to its own line. There we go. 